Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to my RC life. Today, we repair the Traxxas Max and get it ready for winter and all those wet, sloppy conditions. Let's go! What's going on everybody? Traxxas Mike from my RC life. We're getting late into the uh, year, getting into December. Today's December 1st. Um, we kind of had some muddy time of the year going on right now. I haven't been playing with my RC cars much, plus with Thanksgiving and everything going on, getting ready for winter, all that good stuff. I've been kind of busy. But um, one thing we need to do when we're getting close to winter time, we need to get our cars ready for the winter season. Now, most of your RC cars are already equipped with waterproof electronics and whatnot. Now, some people have their own way of going about to do a little bit more waterproofing, things of that nature to their car. One thing I like to do is to go ahead and make sure my tires don't get full of water. Now, some people vent the tire and so when they do get full of water, it'll just spin it right back out. But they still do get water in the foams. And I partic don't particularly like that. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you my way of how to, how I uh, go a little bit further in waterproofing my RC car. Spin these tires off. One of my last videos... My son, Casey, <laughs> smashed the Max right in to the Losi, the DBXLE, and broke the hub right off of the, the old girl. And I was in here replacing that, and I thought, well, I never uh, got this thing ready for winter yet, so I might as well do that now. Okay, so we got all four tires off. Now it's really simple. You see that little hole right there? Then there's one exactly across from it. We just want to fill those with a uh, hot glue. Some people clean this off and put a piece of tape over it. Um, tape peels off a little easy, hot gluey. Sometimes you, it's a little harder to get off, I guess. But hot glue isn't going to come off halfway through the winter, um, in my experiences. So I already got the hot glue gun heated up. Now what I like to do is I like to squish the tire in a little bit, put a dab of hot glue on there and then let go of the tire. It actually sucks it in the hole a little bit so it ain't just sitting on the outside. Kind of like when you're welding, you don't want to just be welding on the outside of your metal. You want it to penetrate down into the metal. So yeah, we squeeze the tire a bit. Put some glue on there and then let off the tire and you can watch it suck that glue in there a bit. Let that side dry because you don't want to squeeze it again now because it'll push the air back out this hole possibly. It should come out that hole but it could put a little bit of pressure on that hole that you just glued depending on how hard and quickly you squished it. So let's see, is it still... Yeah, it's still a little uh, tacky. Sometimes even pushing it down in the hole by finger with gloves on. I don't recommend burning yourself. Sometimes you can put that nozzle right down in the hole and squirt a bit in. Okay. Get the dirt and debris off from the hole too. Don't hurt things, that's for sure. Put that right down in the hole. A little squirt, hold out a bit. A little bubble on the outside, let off. Clog that hole, let's see. Can you watch it on camera, suck that glue in? I don't know if you could tell or not, but it definitely happened. Okay, back to our very first tire here. Cleared off good enough. Now when you're filling the second hole, you don't want to squish it down too much because when you fill that hole, 
it might not, you might end up with a dent in your tire. Like, maybe not even barely squish it. It's like a little bit. Or to stick your nozzle right in the hole. And put a little bit on. Okay, so that one's done. Third one done. And number four. Ooh, this tire's got a big old rip in it. So that one's not going to be waterproof. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to try to glue it. I don't know, what do you guys think? I guess it wasn't a huge rip, but nonetheless, it was a rip. You don't want to put a big old glob because that's going to make it unbalanced like crazy. All right, all four of them seem to be waterproofed up. Good enough for me for this winter. So we're going to go ahead and install those back on the Max. Well, we can go ahead and install tires back on the Max. I think I'm going to put these green tires back on because these Arma tires, it gives it a way narrower stance. As you can see, how much wider <laughs> these uh, Traxxas tires uh, look on there. So I'm going to go back to these greenies. This motor fan was not working correctly. I need to replace this fan with this fan. Okay, take that off of there. This fan wire is going to be a little bit shorter. Will it still reach though? Yeah, I just won't have a nice little path like the last one did. It'll just cross over top of the ESC. Okay, just that easy. Make sure you get your seal lined up in your waterproof box. You don't want to see it sticking out around the edges anywhere. Before I get too far, I want to plug in this battery and make sure the fan is working. Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. 
Now I can go to the next step and put the wire cover on the waterproof box here. Make sure your fan's blowing the right way. Now I was just a little bit worried because this fan don't have any protectors on the top. I remembered I seen this sitting over there. And I think this is a good thing to put on this fan. Because as you can see this fan broke because the blades chipped on it. And then it gets out around and it starts hitting on the housing and everything. Okay, well, we got the new fan on. We got the tires uh, glued up, waterproofed. What do you say we go give it a little rip? It looks like it's warm outside, but it definitely is not. Well, guys, I just lost a whole bunch of awesome footage. So now it looks like I'm just going to try to give you what footage I can left with this single four cell. Thirty-seven degrees out here today. Nice and cold. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Perfectly timed. Not perfectly, but... Man, my front flips are getting pretty sloppy there. Yeah! <laughs> Oof. Oof, again. That was about chest level. Pretty good jump. <laughs> yes! That was awesome! Yes! Atta girl! And the max is just getting up there. Ooh, hard hit. Zing zing!
killing the battery. I knew it was coming. <laughs> she made it back to the yard, people. Well, guys, I hope you liked the video. Got the Max back in here. The fan's looking great. Uh, it, it worked flawlessly. Maybe we'll have to get, uh, get one of these other ones out here for the next run. One of these other cars. Comment below the next car you want to see out here ripping around before the snow comes. All right, I'm Tractus Mike from My RC Life, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. As always, people, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Feel free to leave a comment or question below. I try my hardest to respond to them all. I'll see you later.